Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Licorice is in the building. Uh, hey! <laughs> Kate Licorice, South African actress of British descent. Her stage work has garnered her multiple award nominations, including Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress at the prestigious Fleur de Cap Theatre Awards. Her screen work includes starring opposite Lawrence Fishburne, I Don't Stutter, Lawrence Fishburne, Orlando Jones, and uh, David Harewood in BET series Madiba, in which she played the iconic political activist Ruth First. She's also played alongside Helen Mirren, Dame Helen Mirren, not to be mistaken with that gogo who lives next to you, <laughs> in Gavin Wood's Eye in the Sky, in Pearl Tusi and Akina Mutosho, in Kagasoli Dija's iconic film Catching Feelings. 2020 will see her starring in the two biggest shows on South African television, playing billionaire businesswoman and brutal villain Ekaterina Gromova Woo! in Netflix's first African original for Globe release, Queen Sono, and Abby, the lead in Mnet's most anticipated local drama of 2020, still breathing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, lovers of drama, Woo! make some noise for Kate Licorice. Oh! <laughs> It's like nom 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 with a surname that's my favorite flavor in the world. Can you just record that and I could take it home and that can be my alarm clock every morning. Right. I could just wake up to you <laughs> saying that. It can be my Monday motivation. Right. <laughs> Morning, Kate. Hi. How are you doing, Kate? I'm so great. Thank Kate, you for having me. Kate 101. You meet a five-year-old in an elevator. Hi, auntie. Who are you and what do you do? How would you sell yourself to a five-year-old? Wow. I don't know. Yeah, I'm an, I'm a creative. I guess I'm a storyteller. That's how I describe myself. I, I tell I tell stories. Yes. Um, that's kind of my passion. I'm an actress, but I'm also I work in in food. I'm a food writer. I just started a podcast about food, and yeah, so it's I'd, kind I'd, of in I'd, those I'd, those. I'd realms. call it a podcast, but that's just a, me. A <laughs> No. Yeah, it's You're like a, it's it's a, it's a tongue in cheek. It's called Smack Your Lips. Ah, tongue yes. in cheek. You see the Kate of. Licorice podcast. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do we find that podcast? That's going to be available in the second quarter of this year. It's okay. through Himalaya, um, the app, but it'll be available on all leading podcast apps. So born in England? No, no, no. My parents both British. I was born ah, here, born and bred South African. Okay. Um, I don't know why that is is what leads. I think that's mm. just if you kind of Wikipedia me, that yes. comes up. Ah. But um, yeah, I'm I'm a hundred percent South African. So, so what's your area code? Where were you born? Where were you raised? In Joburg in Waverley. Okay. Yeah, that's that's where I grew up. Primary school. St Mary's. Uh, high school. St Mary's. And then after that. <laughs> St. Mary's, no, I'm joking. I went to... I went, to, I went, I went to, back for more. Yes. I went to UCT and studied uh, theatre and performance there for Okay, four so years. this was written in the stars then? This is like, you, this was your path? Kind of, yeah. I mean, it's it's always that thing. It's like 10 years to, to an overnight success, right? Yes. So it was a lot of blood, sweat and tears after leaving university, like literally no money, broke as hell for a good 10 years until mm. things really started happening. I've always done a lot of theatre, but as we know, theatre doesn't pay. Sure. Yep. Um, <laughs> Shan, Shan went to drama school at Vits. Yeah. But unlike you, who hung, who hung in there, he was like, okay, I'll take a radio gig. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad one so far. Big, like, what biggest drama show in uh, Um no, I've got so much to ask, but uh, this is your interview. Did, no, did you? it's your interview. It's our interview. <laughs> you get an interview. You get an interview. Um, I guess, well, obviously, Queen Sona is obviously the huge one and yeah. also Still Breathing. I haven't watched a lot of Queen Sona, but Still Breathing has got me uh, really hooked. Let me guess, the nudity. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'll be honest. I'll be. Uh, one of my friends is in it, and I was like, I'm just going to do that good drama thing where yeah. you want to watch your friend, but you also want to see where you would be. Like, could yeah. I play that character? But um, you've got two very different characters on Queen Sona know and uh, still being the ones vicious and villainous and the other ones quite vulnerable how did you uh, approach different the different roles they, they're completely different so i like to describe it as one has no feelings and the other one has all the feelings she really does she yeah. really does in You're fact a bit too much yes it does <laughs> <laughs> So, um, for, for those that haven't watched it yet, mm. what is Still Breathing? Still Breathing is one, it's an Mnet d uh, drama. It's an Mnet original English drama that plays on Thursday nights at 8 o'clock on okay. Channel 101. And it is the story of eight friends who come together. They've drifted apart after um, uh, 20 years and mm. then a tragedy brings them all back ah. together. Uh, and it's a beautiful mix of seriously 
gut-wrenching drama mm. and amazing comedic moments yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's it's you it's not it's you don't cry the whole time there's there's fantastic moments of laughter and i mean i hate kind of comparing shows to other shows yeah, but absolutely. it's kind of like to put it in perspective it's this is us meets parenthood oh. Oh. Yeah, it, it does make it easier when you describe mm. it like that to, to kind of and it's so watchable and it is so beautifully shot james Adie, the cinematographer um, shot it. He, it's just magic. And Tiffany and Johnny Barbazano, they they put it together. Tiffany plays my sister in it, Jess, mm. and she wrote it and she produced it. Wow. And her two sons are in it. Jeez. And her husband Johnny co-produces, co-wrote, and he directs it. Mm. And they are like this powerhouse, amazing team. But you're crying every day on I, set. I cried every day, and there were there were moments where it was like there was there was scenes that were a little bit lighter. Yes. Um, where I'd be like, oh yeah, I can be like a little bit happy. Yes. And mm. there's this one scene later on where we have pancakes in the morning, and I wake up and I'm finally like feeling a little bit better. And mm. then we play the scene, and then Johnny comes in. He's like, Kate. <laughs> Dada just died. Jeez. You can't be happy. I was like, but it's pancakes. It's just like, no, yes. no, no, no. Yeah. You're sad. You're sad. You're really sad. I was like, oh. So I spent, yeah, 12 hours of, of every day kind of crying for different reasons. Jeez. Um, but on a personal level, yes. though, how much does it take out of you that you're crying every day on set? It's kind of cathartic. Oh, it to is? To be honest, yeah. If you or find you can even cry about someone stubbing your toe last week. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to you've got to find different reasons for why you're crying today so it's kind of like you you can use it as therapy yes you know like they have laughing therapy they also have crying therapy mm. so i saw it as that and the the team on set was just so amazing uh in terms of creating a space where you could say to johnny how many takes i i, I think i've only got like two or three in me and he'd yes. say okay we need four max five so then you knew how many times yeah. you had to like you bring pace it yourself you could you could pace yourself yes <laughs> <laughs> um, and then he'd also be good about playing like really sad music mm. <laughs> that just... you can feel it Sam. i'm gonna laugh <laughs> going back uh sorry to switch between the two yeah uh, queen sona you're a bit of a urban legend right here the myth of learning russian Yo. Yo, guys, that... in fact I... can we yeah. hold that thought we yes. want to take a short break and come back. Okay. We're hanging out with Netflix's Queen Sonos Kate Licorice. I don't know what I just said, but I hope it makes sense <laughs> to you. You can also catch her on Mnet Still Breathing. Kate Licorice is in the building. We're hanging out with Kate Licorice. You can catch her on Queen Sono and on Mnet Still Breathing. Yeah, as I said before the, the uh, break there, uh, Kate, um, the urban legend around here. Uh, everyone whispers it. Apparently, you should learn Russian for it, and blah 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 blah. Can you take us through it? Why yeah. did you uh, choose Russian? No, so so when I when I got the part, I, I I've known Kakiso and uh, Tamsin. Tamsin is executive producer yes, and yes. also Kakiso's wife, another pa partners power, in crime, yes. power couple. And we went out for dinner to discuss everything, and uh, I drank some wine because I as, love as drinking lots of wine. <laughs> and we were talking about the fact that I wanted her to be unstereotypical and I wanted her to be authentic and yes. that you know that also Netflix um, wanted to have an authentic villain and this notion of not this kind of stereotypical mm. Russian villain mm. so then I was like well I just I'll learn Russian because I could be if her parents because Kakiso said no we'll get real Russians to like play your dad and stuff yes. like that and then yeah Kate we, we were thinking about it but it's a lot do you think I was like yeah I'm not I'm I'm totally down with it I'm so keen so then they were like and okay then cool, sipped, cool cool sipped more wine I sipped more wine I was like <laughs> wow this is a great idea and then I still woke up and I was like yeah and then I found this woman um to to help me and so what we did is I sent her all the scenes in English and then I went to my first lesson <laughs> and <laughs> she, she had translated. And then you're like, Niet. Well, she, Niet. Yes. Niet. she translated in, into Cyrillic, which of course you can't read because yes. it's a completely different language. Yeah. It has 33 letters yeah. in their alphabet. You can't. It, it's so dummy good. card it for me. So so I got her to say the syllables, so, ah. and then I learned it phonetically, and I spelt out the syllables in English, Hectic. a syllable by syllable by syllable, and then I learned it, and I they, I did 
did a lot of crying on Still Breathing. I did a lot of crying before Queen Sono. Like, got in the car after the first Russian lesson. Jeez. And I was like, oh my God. Damn the wine. What have I done? Damn the wine. Damn the wine. What have I done? But I was like, no. And I'm super, I'm super A type. And I was like, no. I've made this commitment. I can do this. Yes. I can do this. And then it was like six weeks. I had this time and I just recorded it on my phone and I just recorded and just I listened to it at the gym while I was running, while I was cooking in the Hectic. kitchen, while I was in the shower. And it was just like, and so now even like, if you, if you say like a word, then I can say sentences because I, it's just stuck in my head. Between learning wow. Russian and as fluently as you sounded mm. and learning how to fight, which took the most out of you? Both. Both. That was also the other thing because where I was crying. Because you kicked Gluteus Maximus. Jeez. Yes. So, so when, 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 also when I got the pardon after I'd started the Russian, then I saw Kakiso and I lived very close to each other. I was walking down the road and I saw Kakiso and he stops his car in the middle of the road and he goes, hey, you. And he's like, there's traffic. So I'm like, Kaggy, what? Yes. He's like, you've got to fight. So I'm like, what? He's like, you and Pearl, you've got to fight. So I'm like, what? Anyways, like we got we, we to gotta get you to lessons. I've got to, Netflix is asking if you can fight and I'm backing, I'm backing you. Yes. But we've got we've to prove to them you can do it. So then Pearl and I went for these five days of stunt training with this legend, Grant Powell, who's the most amazing stunt coordinator. Mm. Yes, sir. But seven hours a day, five days a week for that week Jeez, was just, was rolling, eh? just <sighs> learning to box learning to fall learning to kick and learning the choreography for this for this fight and when i met them they were like okay cool so Katarina, she's her expertise is krav maga so i was like krav maga who yes. <laughs> what so they were like okay like, Dear maga, okay because okay. of krav maga <laughs> 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 I was in the deep end. Was, so, and, and it was. And they're like, Pearl had done a lot of action stuff before, and she is just so naturally good at it. And sure. I was just like, I've got to, once again, a type, like, I'm, I'm, I can do this. I, I can need to do fight this. back. Just grin and bear it. Just, you can do this. And so I, we were starting with basics, like footwork, mm. and I could just trying to make me not look like an idiot. And, and Pearl afterwards told me, like, a week ago when we were doing the press junket, she was like, yeah, sometimes Grant and I would, like, we'd watch you and I'd look at Grant and be like, what is, what is Kate doing? And he's like, I don't know, but just, but just smile and give the thumbs up. We've just got to, we've got to get her, get her up and like make mm. her feel like she did. And they did, they did. They, and Pearl was so patient with me and so kind. I even punched her in the head. Yes. <laughs> on the last day of stunt training. Because <laughs> the problem is they teach you how to hit, yes. right? And then on day five, after four days of teaching you how to hit, they go, no, 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 no. But now you must miss by this much. Oh, yes. So now you've been punching people, but the, now you've just got to miss. And the camera angle will compensate Exactly. Yes. You've got to miss, you've got to miss. But then they teach you how to go from the side and then Pearl leaned in and I leaned in and then straight at the side of the head of that beautiful face. I was Aww. like, I'm never going to work again. So you I'm almost tired. messed with the symmetry of her face. <laughs> Jeez. Um, but it was, it was such an amazing, amazing process to learn to use your body yes. like that. And I loved it. It was, it was intense and hectic, but just also so cool. So cool to do. So if, hypothetically, you've gone out for a drink and four girls have also had a drink or ten and they, like, approach you, eh? Like, could you handle four girls? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Like, like, can you turn the training for TV into a life skill? I think the one, the one thing I learned to do really well um, through a guy called Richie Kwan, who helped us here, he's, he's an amazing uh, martial arts instructor, yes. were hip throws. So uh, taking you from yes. around the neck and just throwing you down onto the ground. I got really good at that. But actually taking on people, I'm a really fast runner. Uh, okay. Like Tom Cruise uh, kind so of running. Better. So I think that would work better for like me. Like Tom the, Cruise kind of running. That is the oh. running. <laughs> Okay. That is the runner. Uh, and he's on platform. So. And, yeah, exactly. I was in high heels. Oh, yes. Katarina was in high heels. Well, in the one, when we shot, you see there's that one promo with Pearl and I running towards each other. Mm. And it's like, the, it says, um, there's, there's only, it's about who runs the world. Yes. And it's like, it's only one girl can run this world. Mm. And then we're running. 
and we were in studio doing that and I was in these stilettos because they wanted me in my outfit just running across and people were wondering what was going on because mm. all you could hear from outside was screaming and like click clack of stilettos <laughs> across the <laughs> studio. <laughs> but now from everything that we've learned with regards to especially with the Queen Sonna character Katarina it sounds like you really like stretched yourself from the language perspective to the physical um, do you think maybe that's what it takes because i think when it comes to acting a lot of the times people get used to what they're doing they get used to move from one character from one character to another do you think the stretching yourself like that on south african context in terms of languages and being more physical should be where acting should be going um no i think that there's always going to be different different roles that require mm. different things mm. of you I mean, mainly in, in film and television acting, they're going to cast someone who is close to that, that role. Mm. Yes. They will cast someone who is British, who speaks English with a British accent mm. and who can speak Russian. I was just lucky enough that mm. Kakiso and Tamsin really believed in me and w wanted this mm. to be a, an all African cast. Absolutely. Um, that they trusted me to do that. You know, that, that generally comes when you're, when you're more famous, mm. when people are willing to back you and mm. when the world wants to see you kind of do different things. 4.30, this is Fresh on 947. We're hanging out with Kate Licorice. She's an actor, and not only is she a kick-ass actor, she now has a podcast. Um, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> what? I am going to stick to podcast until you adopt it. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, you can catch her on Netflix as Queen Sono and Mnet Still Breathing. She's in the building until 5. In fact, when we come back, um, Kate and Shan are going to do a bit of improv. We'll throw scenarios at them, and they will just... <laughs> I, I'm definitely going to embarrass myself. Like, I can guarantee you that. Shan, yeah. this could be a moment. Never for know you. who's listening, Shan. Oh, my Never God. Know. Don't put that pressure on it, <laughs> Don't put that pressure on it. Uh, right now, though, we are hanging out with a firm favorite for a lot of people that have watched Netflix's Queen Sono. We're hanging out with Ekaterina. <laughs> Guys, if you have not watched. Queen Sono. If you have not seen Kate Licorice in mm. action, uh, whether on Queen Sono or Mnet Still Breathing, then you need to get a life because she brings it. Mm. Do you ever look at yourself on screen and say, geez, I kick ass? <laughs> <laughs> um, in, in Queen Sono, there's a few scenes where I was like, ooh. Yes, yeah. girl. Yes. yes. I, I got it. I got it. I, yes. I was like, I believe me. I believe me. But you know what? I remember when I was at the premiere, you were saying that you you watched the show and you were like, I did that. Like, And that's so impressive because a lot of people walk away from saying, ah, oh, man, that's me. That's yeah. my moment. I'm yeah. going to take it. And to say that you own it is, is very admirable. No, thank you. It's funny because um, Sivan Gisi stars with me in, mm. in Still Breathing. He's mm. such an awesome guy, mm. man. I love him so much. And he's just so great because he sends me messages. He's like, Chomi, this is like, this is amazing and this mm. is amazing. And I go, oh, thank you. And he goes, no, man. Take own it. it. Take yeah. it. Take it. This is your time. Absolutely. Be proud. Be yeah. bold. You know, mm. stop being so humble. Humble's mm. boring. <laughs> you knocked it out the park. Right. You know? yeah. Own it. There's a time and place for humility, but there's also a time and place to remind yourself that actually, Actually, I'm doing well that. here. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. In, in fact, uh, still breathing, you do quite a bit of naked shooting also. Yeah. Can we talk about that? <laughs> yes, Just in yes, terms of, of what happens behind the scenes when you're shooting nudity. Yeah, so like the shower scene, for instance. Yeah, so so it's it's like it's it's generally like a closed set, uh -huh. which means James Eddy, the dearest poor cinematographer, mm. it's him with the actors, like under the sheets. There's there's James mm. like, <laughs> <laughs> with, with myself and, and Brendan Pollacott, literally like the, Johnny's asking for this romantic kind of like Romeo and Juliet scene mm. under the sheets. Yes. So then like we're kind of so there's a camera naked, under the sheets and then. The, <laughs> And James is like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's with the camera. It's like, oh, this is so awkward. Uh, but trying to make it comfortable at the same time. Yeah. And we got to the end of shooting um, the last day on set. It was amazing. It's like 52 days. We shot 20 pages a day. It was nuts. Mm. And James and I were... were but James standing. also is generally a shyish guy. He's a shy guy. And we were standing on the Wendy house. And I'm just not a shy person. Like, yeah. I have small boobs. I'm, yeah. I'm just... And I've been whatever. in theater. And I've, like, been naked on stage. Yeah. So you're like, oh, whatever, man. Yeah. It's, it's it, a job. It's, yeah, it's boobs is boobs and mm. bodies is bodies. 
So um, James was standing on this in this Wendy house, and we're like looking down and everything reflecting, and we're like, wow, what a journey. And James is like, yeah, yo, do you remember what, uh, day one with you, Kate? So I was like, no, I don't. What happened? He was like, the first scene we shot was you and me naked <laughs> in the shower together. Well, he wasn't he naked. Was. He was naked. <laughs> he had the camera. He was naked. He had the camera. He was like, hi, I'm James. I was like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Kate. Got out of my okay. clothes. Get in the shower. <laughs> he, they like, and Johnny's always like, okay, with whatever you're comfortable with, if you want to wear a bra, then like, you yes. know, we'll just shoot it from here. And like, everyone is so professional mm. about it on set. But I'm like, no, but then like, it's weird because you're going to get it, the bra and shot. We have to redo it. If I've mm. just got, you know, you're in and you've got panties on, but then yeah. like, so then James is like, oh, okay, and he's trying to like... Whatever works for you. <laughs> he's trying to like turn around and like hold towels up. And you're like, dude, whatever, man, it's fine. And he's like, yeah, day one, man. Whew, that was hectic. So you break the ice immediately. Yeah, pretty man. Much. It makes yeah, it, 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 does it, that it, it Yeah, then it's just quicker. Yeah. And, and, uh, sex scenes are not sexy. And yeah. this is They're not really a courtship. Not. We're doing a job. Yes, and it's it's really not sexy. Absolutely. Like, it, everyone's there, and then they're trying to get the steam in the shower, and you're really cold, <laughs> and like, <laughs> <laughs> your hair's starting to frizz, and then the mascara. Oh, no. Continuity is out. Yeah. <laughs> So there's no time for anything but let's get this done. Yes, let's Absolutely. get it done. We're hanging out with actor Kate Licorice Catcher on Mnet Still Breathing and Netflix's Queen Sono. When we come back, <laughs> improv, <laughs> Shannon <laughs> versus what are you Kate. Do, what are you doing in theater? Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. We're hanging out with an actor who kicks gluteus maximus mm. uh, at a level that I find rather impressive. And uh, Kate Licorice is in the building. Licorice, real yes. name? Yes, it is my real name, actually. Shut up. No, seriously, oh. it's on my ID. You are like, it's your surname. It's my surname. Your parents set you, your parents really set you up. Like, it's, it's a, a star's name. Thank you. Well, people remember it, whether it's for good or for bad. Yeah. People remember it. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully at the moment, it's good. Imagine okay. the irony that her hubby doesn't eat licorice. <laughs> <laughs> and you know people don't really like the flavor. It's one of my favorite flavors. I love, I love licorice. I finished a whole packet yesterday. I mm. still feel bad. A whole packet of licorice. Yeah. Don't. It's actually one of the best things that you can eat in terms of sweet things. Yep. In terms of the percentage of sugar it has in it. Mm -hmm. Please tell that to my gym instructor. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Kate Licorice and Shannon about oh my to do some improv. I haven't been nervous dun, for, dun, for dun. years. I've never been nervous. And if you've been living under a rock, you can uh, catch Kate Licorice acting in Netflix's Queen Sono and Mnet Still Breathing. Here's your first scenario. Captain Jack Sparrow goes to the dentist. I guess you're, you're Jack Sparrow yeah. and you are a dentist or a Russian dentist, you decide. A Russian dentist. All right, yes. I'm going to stand for this one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. Sorry, love. Got some bit something stuck in my tooth. Do you mind if I come over to you, sweetness, if I take a seat in your chair and you help me sort this little nonsense out, eh? Sit. Do not speak. No, but uh, speaking is kind of my thing. I defeated Davy Jones or... Drank a lot of rum, so, you know, talking is not really, well, talking is my only thing that I really know. How, how, <laughs> ma how many teeth have you got broken in your mouth? Well, is a few gold, the, yes. A few. Yes. Okay, the, the whole mouth will be broken if you do not sit in this chair <laughs> uh, okay. right Okay, I'm now. sitting down, all right. <laughs> okay, just must I open my, okay, I'm, okay. I'm shutting up now. <laughs> This is, this is disgusting. I, I'm <laughs> pirate, love. Disgusting. This is not really my forte. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you could... Look, you, look at this. Look uh, at this. You, you are... You are the, I can't. I can't. I can't really speak when your tools are in The smell. The smell that comes from your mouth. It, it's like a, like a, like a uh, toilet. Uh, like a toilet. I, I can't even... I can't I, really speak right now, love. You, you, are, you are... You are drunk. You are, everything about you is... is oh, is, that's my gum, that is. That, oh. uh, that is... That is... Okay. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to put you to sleep because, oh, oh. and I'm going to put you in a trash can because that is where you belong. Oh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Guys. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> I could actually watch. Um, there's a show I watched with just two actors on it. Yeah. it was theater Hello and Goodbye. I could watch oh, you two guys yes. do a show together. Ah, okay, bum. so we have two more scenarios, but we only have uh -oh. time for one. Oh. So we're gonna, we're gonna play both and you guys decide which one you're going with. Okay. A Russian and an American arguing over who won the Cold War. <laughs> Sir David Attenborough getting Tinder advice. 
<laughs> I, think, I think let's go to Sir, Sir, Sir David. Yeah. Sir, uh, so obviously I'm Sir David. So, uh, yeah, Sir, Sir David, you need tender advice. So I've spent a long time looking at different mammals over the world, finding a mate. And unfortunately, I am the only one that hasn't found one. Mm. Okay, uh, Sir David, do you understand how, how Tinder works uh, in terms of swiping left and swiping right? Well, no, I'm quite uh, familiar with dancing and uh, showing off your buttocks for a mate, mm. but never really swiping left or right. Okay, so so the thing is with Tinder, it's quite a, yes. quite a quick process. I know, I know you... you kind of you give things time but you, yes. you look at someone and and you, if you like them then you then you swipe Ooh. right and and if they like you then it's it's a match so what what okay let's start with your with your tinder profile what what is what how do you describe yourself well i, I like to take my time to figure out something uh, eating habits <laughs> and uh, appearance so mm -hmm. this liking thing very quickly doesn't really work for me and and your picture what are you what are you doing is it a sexy pic because oh. it, it's often kind of uh, tops off pics that that win the chicks or <laughs> something something sexy uh, on the beach <laughs> well <laughs> no, sorry i haven't really won women in that way for about 700 years yeah i'm, I'm looking at i'm looking at your picture and i'm seeing you with two gorillas yes. um and i'm thinking that maybe this this is is, is part a uh, part of the problem. Part, part of the problem. This yeah. is th the future of our planet and climate but it, it, change. It, it, it's, su it's suggesting a kind of beast bestiality <laughs> here with oh. with I, <laughs> it, uh, me and animals, animals <laughs> and me. I, I think we we can work um, on the on the tagline here. If if you could flirt with me, maybe so I could figure out. I mean, you're quite attractive. Oh. I, I'm not saying that mm. I would be interested. No, thank you, myself. sir. Okay, well, try, 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 David. Try, try um, the kind of a one. Line. It's something like I'm, you know, I'm saying it's short and snappy, so let's go with something sort of short and snappier. Well, Sir David Attenborough here for p Planet, and I would like to uh, planet your animal if oh. possible. <laughs> Exploit, the <laughs> Exploit the plumage. <laughs> Someone cuts <laughs> this boy! Oh, that's horrid. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Shannon and Thank Kate you. Licorice <laughs> doing improv. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, where do we find you on social media? Uh, at Kate Licorice. That's, that's the handle for everything, for Twitter, for Instagram, and it's K-A-T-E-L-I-Q-U-O-R-I-S-H. So it's licorice as in booze-ish. That's mm. how you remember it. Licker. <laughs> you can uh, catch her on Netflix as Queen Sono and Mnet's still breathing. Uh, she never wants to really admit it, but she kicks a lot of butt mm. on and off screen. Remember the name, mm. Kate Licorice. Alcoholish, if you will. <laughs> My husband says it's the language spoken when drunk. That's what got you to be a Russian woman on Queen Sono. <laughs> exactly! <Your surname. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Licorice is about to leave the building. If you love Joburg, yeah. yeah. 947 loves you.